Hello and good morning, church. Pastor Wood here of Davao Alive. I'm so blessed to be able to share this quick word with you. We at our team are going through the Bible um, for this whole year. You can check out the links below on this message. And right now we're going through the story of David and Samuel and Saul. As we know, through the book of Samuel, that is. As we know, David was on the run during these chapters here. And Saul was after him. And he had a chance, as you might know the story, where Saul went into the cave without realizing David was there with his men. And as he went there to relieve himself, David had the opportunity to take the throne. The very thing that he was anointed for years ago. And now he's being hunted like, 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 a, like a bad man, you know. And, and absolutely, it was nothing to do with David. It was all Saul's issues. Now, you see, David had an option. He had an opportunity to take hold of whom God had called him to be right at that moment. And what we discussed this morning, what Rosie raised was there's a big difference between God's timing and God's will. You see, he trusted in faith that God would fulfill what he'd called upon his life. You and I might be in that position today. I want to encourage you and charge you to trust in the Lord's timing. You may know his will, but trust in his timing. How do we do that? by staying in his presence by praying in faith without faith it's impossible to please god by having a heart that's after god and god alone just like king david you see with him he had a reverent fear of god he said how can i touch god's anointed what he was talking about was really how can i touch god how can i try to change what god has already set in motion today guys trust that the lord is going to fulfill if he said it, then we believe it. It is done. I'm going to put a link to a song that we worship to afterwards by C.C. Winans. As you meditate on this quick message today, church, understand that God's will and his timing are two different places in our lives and instances. And if we would only trust him, you would see him fulfill his work because his word never returns void, never returns empty. God is faithful to complete what he has said and done in your life. So church, be encouraged, worship Him today, trust Him with all your heart, soul, and strength. Walk in complete faith and obedience. And even when the circumstance looks like you could twist it for your benefit, say, God, you said, I believe you will do this work. Whatever mountain it is that you're facing, whatever Goliath it is that you're facing today, God will break through. God bless you, church, and run after God's own heart today. Speak soon.